Okay, this guy here, neighbor, I interviewed him twice. He complains, he, of course he got good right to complain, he hasn't seen his family, I forgot for how long. But anyway, this is called Justice, this is the Justice Building. And you know, Justice, Justice, you got Justice all over the place, so, you know, everybody's treated equally by the law, right? But anyway, let's see what's going on here. How you doing? All right. All right, what's your name? My name is uh, Joseph uh, Poitier. Joseph? Poirier. Poirier. Not yep. Ron? I thought it was Ron. Well, it's just Ron, but uh, in the States it was Ronald Joseph, and here it's Joseph Ronald. Or Boston, they call it. Or you. Boston, they call me. The city of Fredericton. Yeah, they, these people are not intelligent to say your real name. But anyway, never mind that. Uh, what are you doing here in the city? What am I doing here? I, I was uh, ordered back here by Homeland Security. When? Uh, July 17th of 2011. That's almost two years ago. Yeah, it's a homeless shelter. So, uh, excuse me, you live where? I live on 145 Westmoreland. Where did you, where do you live in Boston? Uh, Lemister, Massachusetts. So, uh, how long were you there for? Uh, 43 years. What, were you born there? Or? I was brought there at the age of 10. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't a pleasant sight at the time as I started going to school. Because all I spoke was French. And I went to a Catholic school. So you lived in Boston all your life? Yes, I did. Did you get married? Yes, I did. I have a wife, two, uh, two children. You mean and your wife is American? Yes, my wife's American. My children's American. I also have this right here. This is a picture of my, grand, my granddaughter when uh -huh. I was ordered deported. She was, she was born, and she passed away, and I could not return. Oh, when did that happen? It happened uh, approximately a month after I was here. Oh. I was at a homeless shelter, and uh, I could not return. Okay, home. so why are you here? Why did they deport you? We're, okay, so is your wife an American? Yes, she is. I thought if you married an American, you got status, or? That's what I thought so too, but it didn't become that to that, that point, because I suffered from a disease, right? What's and, a disease? Uh, disease is alcoholism. Alcohol? Yes. You're French? Yes, I am. And we love our... Were well, you that I, drunk? I like the drinking, but I can't, I can't, I have a disease, you know, where... No, you got disease, okay, alcohol is a disease, so you had a problem down the stage, you were drunk. Yes, so. and the last time I was in front of the judge in my hometown of Lumister, Massachusetts, yeah. the judge ordered me to go into rehab, looking yeah. at to save my life. Yeah. And I said, yes. And yes? Was, Did you go? I, I said, no, I did not go. How it, come? Three days after I was, uh, in, I was being detained. So how come you didn't go to uh, rehab? Because the Homeland Security came and put a detainer on me. Hold it. So the judge ordered you to go to rehab, but you didn't go? No, I did not. So you broke the law? No, you I broke the judge order? No, the Homeland Security, the police in my town. Nah. No, hold it. The judge ordered you to go to, to rehab? Yes. You didn't go? Didn't go because I was in custody, being held in a county jail. Okay. You and were... Homeland Security came to see me there. Okay. And they says, we're putting a detainer on you, and you're not going anywhere. Well, you know, okay, you're not going anywhere. Detainer. Right. Were you a bed drunk, you? I would go on binges, yeah. right? You want to talk Commit about a crime, uh, assault people, uh, rob banks. Well, uh, if you look at police records, yes, but if you can ask my wife, she can tell you the truth. Well, this whole situation and truth needs to come out. Did you hurt anybody? Were you no. in jail before? No, never hurt no one. You never been in jail no, for assault or try to kill somebody? Never. Ne nobody never. raped somebody? Never. No, no, never no, rob banks? No. no store? Nothing. Nothing. So then, next thing you know, they put you were at the border. Uh, I mean, uh, are you a proud American? I was at the time, yeah. Could you sing the national anthem? Can't sing it, but uh, you know what I mean? You can't sing it. What kind of American are you? No, I was brought up in America. I was I'm glad they I know. I was brought up American, but you know, I was also Canadian. Yeah. I never became a Canadian American citizen. Don't, don't feel bad. I can't, sing the, I can't yeah. sing the Canadian anthem either. So anyway, it doesn't matter. So you were an American all your life. 
Nestle, you know you got a drinking problem. Don't they have AA uh, down the states? Yes, I was sober for 13 years. 13 years? Yes, I was. Okay. I was sober for 13 years. So you haven't seen your kids, your granddaughter died, you yeah. didn't attend the funeral, your wife miss you? Yes, she does. My dad is sick right now. Your dad, your parents are there? Yes, they are. They can't help? They can't do nothing? No, there's nothing they can do. Nothing they can do? No. So you know, I, I need help to, to get back home. They told me just across the border, but then if I, got, I get arrested, they throw me in jail. I never expect that for, for American justice, you know what I mean? This is American justice. To leave me at a border with nobody there, in Holton, uh, Holton Maine, with nobody there, just clothes on my back. I brought into Fredericton, the homeless shelter. I, I thank the shelter for, you know, for taking me in. You How did I mean? you make it from Holton to here? No, I had to take, uh, yeah, I took it uh, right at the border. I had another Canadian from uh, Prince Edward Island. I had an ATM card hit in my sneaker, so I had a little bit of money. We had to take a cab to a truck stop. And okay, so you made it here. Yes. So the bottom line is, they told you last week, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been, I've been hearing you uh, bitch and complain for the past months, and I know you have good reason to. Yeah. You're upset, but you don't seem to have nobody that will take on your cause? No, no one. I don't know why, I'm Canadian. I, I lived uh, there in the 60s when I went to, to the United States with the Vietnam era. I was 10 years old. Got beat in school to learn English. I was beat and beat and beat. At the age of 16, I found the alcohol to get rid of that pain that I was suffering from, from being beat. The parle français. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, I kept my French. And my mom, I talked to my dad, he cries on the phone, I cry on the phone. I see my granddaughter this morning. All I can see is pictures. And they said I can never go back. Why? Give me a real good reason why. I didn't kill nobody. I didn't hurt nobody. I hurt myself, you know what I mean? Alcoholism is, I have a, I have a disease. And I was sober for 13 years. Something triggered me to pick up a drink. And it wasn't good, it was not good. Anyone that wants to know more, send me an email at omazon at yahoo.com. O-L-D-M-A-I-S-O-N at yahoo.com if you can help this poor guy.